this is a Google map that I've created that I want to share with other people and when they're using their cell phones they can get direct driving directions to each of the different locations on this map. So this is an example of an area for the Christmas bird count and what you need to do first is you need to have a Google account and you need to go to Google Drive. So here's my Google Drive. To create a map you click on new, go to more, and then choose Google My Maps. Now up in the top left hand corner you're going to title your map and that's going to be what it's saved as in your Google Drive. And then you can also, when you click on that to title it, you could also add a description. Here's an example of a map that I've already started. I did a title but I didn't do a description. To add different locations on my map, I'm going to type in the search and I can type in, for example, Menlo Atherton High School. And it's my first choice. It gives me some description information, but if I want to add that to my map, I can choose Add to Map. And if I want to edit this detailed information, I can click on the pencil and I can type in any notes. I could also add a photo or a video, but for this I don't need that information. But you can see it added it as a point on my map right here. Now if I just see a location when I'm looking at the map, I don't necessarily have to search for it using the search bar. Let's say I want to add a point right over here, because that's a good spot to look. What I can do is click on the little add marker icon, and then drop a point where I want to add it, and then I can give it a title and a description, and I could also add any images or videos. I don't want this point here, so I'm going to say cancel, and I'm going to close that out. Oh, let's delete it, click on the trash can, and now it's gone. Now notice that I've changed the colors of some of my icons here. I can change those to differentiate them if I want to set up information for two different teams like I did in my Crystal Springs count. So one team has the little hiker icons and one team has the binocular icons. So what I can do is let's say this right here, this is St. Patrick's Seminary. I can go over to it on my left hand column and click on the little paint, car, paint jar. I could choose different colors for my markers or different icon shapes, but I could also choose other icons. These are three that I've used already, but I can go to more icons and I can search through here and find different ones, or I could add my own image if I had a small image that I had a URL to. For this, I'm going to go ahead, since it's the seminary, I'm going to choose the cross, and you can notice now that it's marked with the cross. Now, I want to share this map with members of my group. So if I go up to share right here, I can change this right here. Anyone who has a link can view. Initially, it's private. So to change that, so anyone with a link can view, I'm going to click on change, and I'm going to choose who I want to give access to and what type of access I want to give them. So generally, I'm going to make it open to the public so they can view it and press save. Then I can share this link with my group. When I share this link with the group, they can look at it when it's on the internet, but it won't actually work in their map app that they have on their phone to get driving directions. So to give someone driving directions, I'm going to go to invite people down at the bottom, and I'm going to type in a different email address that I have, but I don't want to give um, that other account editing access, I just want to give them viewing access, and you can notify people and add a message and say, um, use this map using the Google Maps app on your iPhone or Android device and then you can send a copy to yourself if you'd like and press send. The people you share the map with will get an email that has a link to the map and they can open up that map but they can also find that map in their Google Drive so if they go to their Google Drive and go to shared with me they will see that map here. But the best part is when they can see it on their actual mobile device when they're out in the field and trying to get directions to the different locations. Now when you're looking at your phone, what you're going to do is either on an iPhone or on an Android phone, you want to have your Google Maps app installed. And so my Google Maps app is right here, and I'm going to go ahead and click on that.
And when I click on that, you want to make sure that you're logged in with the account that was used to share that Google map to. So I'm going to click up on the top left hand side on these three little bars and you can see up at the top that I'm signed in with the account that I shared that map with. If you click on the little down arrow, you can add an account to make sure you've signed in with that Google account. Now what I'm going to do is when I'm on this main view, when I've clicked on those three bars, notice that it says your places. When I choose your places, it gives you your home and work address if you've entered that in, but it has any maps that have been associated with your account or shared with your Google account. So here's the map that I created on my original email that I shared with the email address that I'm currently using for this Google Maps app. So here's the Palo Alto CBC Region 3 Party 1 map. When I click on that, you can see what it does is it brings me to that map and you can sort of see it doesn't look too great here. There it goes, it's a little better. But here you can see my map locations. So this green one, if I click on that, that was my starting point. That was where my team is meeting at the Menlo Park Library. And if I want to get driving directions to the Menlo Park Library, I can click on the little car down here. And that will give me driving directions from where I currently am to the Menlo Park Library. Now, if I want to go back, I'm going to click this back arrow up at the top left hand side. Let's say I want directions to my le next location on the map. I can click on that next location, which could be this red um, dot right here for the St. Patrick's Seminary. And then I can click on the little driving direction and get directions from point to point as we're traveling around.